Hello again. I'm here just to for a quick update on Mysterious Space. Uh, I'm hoping to get a new version out for people to download with, with all this cool stuff I've been showing off recently uh, tonight. Probably. I just want to add a new enemy type. I think a new enemy is necessary just for gameplay content. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I've got a number of hours left in the day. But real quick, anyway, I wanted to show off some crazy new bullet types. Uh, I had introduced EMP bullets in the last update, but then they were failing to be generated because I was stupid with a big switch block. Um, and uh, so, so those are now in the game, and, and I've added two new uh, bullet types, fragmenting and rubberized. And rubberized bullets bounce off of things, and I should equip one of those to show off, and fragmenting are bullets that shoot bullets. <laughs> I'm going to show off that because that's really fun. Um, and I'm happy I got it on a split gun because that's also fun. Uh, I, I knew there was a rubber eyes. Here we go. Bi-directional. Sure. All right. So let's go in and... Sorry, get my mouse off of here. Uh... Okay, so there's the rubberized <laughs> bouncing around, and the best rubberized guns, you know, the ones that shoot bullets at angles are more fun because then you get crazy bouncing around uh, in in little corridors like this. And let me get out here just to more clear ooh, an item, to more clearly show this other gun. So the fragmenting gun is this yellow bullet, and uh, as those bullets fly across the screen, they themselves shoot, you know, smaller bullets. Um, in this case, blue. So the the color that the of of those little bullets is is random, along with the color of the gun itself. Uh, it's not depicted anywhere. Uh, I you know I added real quick just a secondary color that the gun's gonna have, and that secondary color could be uh, the rainbow color in quotes, I'm making air quotes with my fingers that you can't see. Uh, that indicates that every bullet should be a random pastel color. So you could have uh, you know random pastel bullets shooting random pastel boulders for max rainbows <laughs> maximum rainbows um i <laughs> the bouncing bolts are really silly uh i had to put a limit on the lifetime i mean the uh, bullets have always had a limit on their lifetime uh which you can see usually only when you shoot a bullet way up here and, and follow it for a while um those bolts are going too fast for me to follow uh but the bullets for rubberized or sorry the lifetime for rubberized bullets is much shorter uh, because especially with the angled bullets, you just would like shoot in here and the bullets would go flying like out into the core, you know, and these big things bounce around. It was madness. Uh, so I had to tone that down a little. Uh, but there's, I don't know, it's it's really fun. I'm really having fun with these bullet effects. Bullet effects, unfortunately, cannot be stacked. So you can't have like rubberized fragmenting bullets or anything like that. Uh, I, I, I thought of a way that I could. I, I, it, it might just be completely absurd. I mean, a, a, an easy way for me to do it would just be to make a new bullet type that does both. Um, and actually that might let me give some more control that I would want, like the initial bullet would bounce but the sub bullets wouldn't or something. Uh, but anyway, I could also make bullets... Uh, I could also recode things so that a weapon has, you know, any number of, of bullet effects and then things could be truly crazy. Ooh, my bouncy, my bouncy caught a dude, it was useful. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm not going to worry about that for now, so you won't get, like, rubberized EMP bullets either. Or anything like that. I also had to exclude. Uh, so let's see if we can see that bullet disappear. There it went. Uh, I also excluded certain bullet effects from certain types of guns, like the gun that just leaves a trail of bullets as you move, which I, I'm sure I showed off. Enemies uh, have that, and and you can pick it up as well. Um, I the, those laying bouncy bullets is meaningless. It's a waste, so I excluded it there. Uh, but I'm trying not to exclude things. Like there's no reason. To. I mean, the more crazy effects that guns can have, the better. Uh, so you could totally lay a bunch of little bullets that themselves shoot bullets, and they'd be stationary, and that would probably be overpowered, actually. But it doesn't matter. It'll be fun. Um, and yeah, I'm not worrying about the balance too much for this release. I just want to get this out, uh, especially since, you know, this isn't the time to worry about balance necessarily so much as to uh, make a game that you can play. So... You know, I mean, so early in the development, I'm not even calling this 1.0. Anyway, uh, I will stop rambling and get back to work, because again, I would love to have something out for people to download later tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.